stop at this point because um, my Zoom died. So, welcome back. It's me. It's your girl, Yemi. You know, Yemi.com. Um, I am doing, shocker, another BTS video. Um, <laughs> I mean, I made this channel to make things that I love. And I love BTS. And I love David Dobrik. And I love, you know, YouTube culture and all those other things. And I love calling out racists and other things. So... This is actually, I'm, I'm, this is like a spur of the moment thing. Like I'm supposed to go get my hair done, but like this is very, very spur of the moment, very, very last minute because I actually found a BTS introduction video. It's only like, there's different parts to it, obviously. Like this is just part one and it's, it's by, um, Gatterson, Gatterson, G-A-D-A-U-R-S-A-N. I'll put the link in the description below, but it's in its introduction to BTS episode one bulletproof and they have each episode but I have seen all the other like introduction videos and I never really got to form a genuine reaction like I, I have my like fake reaction that I'll eventually post if I get to if I get to a thousand subscribers which is bold because I'm at like two um I will post that reaction I'll edit it together you know and I'll post it so you guys can all laugh at me with me but for now I have this reaction this is this is going to be a reaction to um, this introduction video. I've never seen it. And there's still a lot of things. Like, it's Festa right now when I'm recording this. And there's still a lot of things I don't know about BTS. Like, I don't fully comprehend their Wings era, especially their Roots Weekend. Like, I I know I know Map of the pers <laughs> Map of the Soul Persona down path. And then, like, I'm start... I, like got into Love Yourself, like, Tear Love Yourself Heart. You know, I, I, I'm, like, got... I'm, I'm fairly confident in those areas, um, like their post wings areas, but I never really, because I just got here like three weeks ago, I keep saying like three weeks ago, eventually it's going to be like up to like two months, um, but because I got here late, I didn't really have the pleasure of starting off when they first began. So this is only a seven minute video, which is really great for me because my camera stops recording after 20 minutes, so hopefully I can get through this pretty quickly. Um, and this is going to be me reacting to it, which means that I need to bring up oh, my trusty dusty headphones. And these things are like, I can't believe they're still alive, honestly. So we're going to listen to uh, this reaction, make, it, make sure it's full screen. So all the tea is here. Um, here we go. I'm going to start from the beginning and go. I go through these hairstyles um really is making I had to rewind I'm so sorry see this is beyond the scenes and introduction see Arm go through these hairstyles and why are they always standing in the same order right I think they're standing in the same order yeah sugar looks great in all of this I literally the thing is I get, literally can't even tell which way they're aging like they don't look they look there's like a look a little bit babyish in some of them but like for the most part they look the same just with different hairstyles like extremely different hairstyles hi nice to meet you my name is RM I'm the leader of this crew RM Okay, leader, rapper, songwriter, uh, producer, IQ of 148, which I don't know if that's good or bad because my IQ ain't too great. Uh, philosophical fluent in English, yeah. Knew all these things. My name is Bian. Hello. Hello. Worldwide handsome. Visual, vocalist. Worldwide handsome. Good cook, the oldest. Actor. Hello, I'm Sugar. Hello, it's Sugar. Hello, hello. Ah, it's the bias. It's the bias. Hard eyes, motherfucker. Plays basketball. I didn't know he played basketball. I think that was in the other video. I just didn't think too much of attention for it. Plays for music. Outspoken producer. I like a basketball player. I'm your hope. You're my hope. I'm J Hope. Dancer, rapper, producer, songwriter, street dancer, pure sunshine, and body soap. That's so cute. 
someone who's coming and slowly trying to become my bias wrecker. Contemporary dancer, social media king, Mr. Congeniality, very adorable. I love it, I love it, I love it. He's he's very adorable. Wait. One of my Hi. bias wreckers. Oh, photographer. I'm sorry, we all see, like, I I will never forget how beautiful he is in DNA. Like, I, no one can tell me anything. V is, and this is, I think this is the reason, I think I've talked about this before, but like, V is my bias record. Like, RM is my bias record. He was my bias, he's my bias record. Because he will forever have my heart. Like, he's the one who got me into BTS. V is, like, kind of similar to Suga to me in the way of, like, you have this, like, for me, Suga's face doesn't match his, like, rap, his, like, voice and his attitude. Because his face is like, oh, flower pot. But his attitude is like, Ugh. And then V, for me, is kind of the opposite. Like, V also has a kind of a sugar power, flower pot, but, like, not so much as sh uh, Suga. But V, when he performs, he's like, Ugh. I guess which is the same as Suga. But it's like, he's like, Ugh. And his face is like, yeah, I get it, I get it. Sexy time. But then his attitude, like his personality is just so <laughs> quirky. He's like, he's like if a Zoe De Chanel character went completely right. Like it's just insane. So I, I think that's why like he started to climb up to be my bias record. And then Jimin's like just like below them. Jimin's like just oh, if if I see, if I like see wings, I feel like Jimin could easily become my bias like screw bias record bias but like it's hard it's hard out here now back to our show <laughs> filmmaker i love cookie because he makes films like i do and i would just love to be in cookie's editing suite i feel like it would be the most amazing place because like he has all this footage and all this like and like i've seen the videos he edits like i love the the, the bad guy dub video he did like amazing love it love it love it and like i just i think he's so good i'm just i would but i would like i would love to make like a short film with him i think it would be really freaking amazing and i feel like he's a really interesting perspective as well In Korean, our name means um, Bulletproof Boy Scouts, uh -huh. so it stands for BTS. Uh -huh. Bulletproof Boy Scouts, ayy. And so, like, we got these army, like, you know, right beside us, so... Yes, that's you what certainly do have an army. I believe the rise of BTS is really, truly due to the fan labor. Um, you know, they were the most popular social media artists at the Billboard Music Award. Yeah, they were. Um... I would just like to say that I didn't say it. Like I was literally working at Billboard literally the summer, not even the summer, like the the time after they came to Billboard, like Billboard New York. They came to Billboard New York and did a whole interview. And I was working at Billboard literally after that. I'm like imagining my life if I was working at Billboard when BTS came in. I feel like it would be so much different. I could be married to Suga already. <laughs> that is not correct. No, I'm kidding. But like, seriously, like, I, it's, it's insane. Sure, sure, everybody going down. You know, their dedication to profession, their professional singing, dancing, and their appeal to hip hop fan base is huge. Okay, that is so important. That's so important that I feel like no one talks about. And like they their appeal to the hip hop fan base like yes like a lot of it's very easy to mistake the fact that bts is just like a bunch of v bts fans like army is just like a bunch of girls that are screaming all the time that are just like oh my god will they notice me i love them so much ah! but it's not it's like the, that appeal to the hip hop fan base like i think i talked about it in um ish i think i talked about it in my first bts video but it's like when you go and look at BTS reactors, it's not just teenage girls. It's like full grown dudes, like rappers, producers, people who like live in that world. They really like vibe with it. And I understand why. Yes, I mean, one of the prevalent notions of K-pop is that it's factory manufactured music, which is true to a large extent, but BTS is special because a lot of members actually do produce their music. We reflect our opinions and thoughts and music in our performance. Sorry, but yeah, that's like, 
That's it. I was literally watching Boy in a Band's video where he was talking about like who his bias was or whatever. And like, yeah, that's one of the really big important things because because if they're not like reflecting their own opinions, then it comes off as fake. And that's what kind of gives them the appeal. Like he said, the appeal. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> They're so cute. Sugar! We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Miyugi! <laughs> now, back to our show. Love myself. That's another thing. They're so giving and they're so caring and they... they they don't just cater to their base. They they try and cater and make the world a better place, which I think is really amazing and really up there. And I'm glad that this video like mentions that. Youth. Jimin! So talking about Jimin will ruin me. I hate when they cry. First of all, this video ended on sugar whispering in my ear, so it's already a 10 for me for that fact alone. But like seriously, like I don't, uh, I'm really glad I got to watch this video because I'm probably gonna do more of them. I'm probably gonna do all of them. Let's do all of them, like maybe. Maybe my hair will be different. Who knows? Maybe I'll do all of them if you guys really like this this video. But this, it kind of like wraps up why I think I fell, fell. Why I think I like started to really connect with BTS. They're nice, sweet, normal people with varying. It's not like they're all, it's not like you can say that one's the bad boy and that one's the sweetheart. And because they're actually dynamic real people characters that you see you see them cry you see them laugh you see them go through these times and talk about them and it's just it's so real and i think that's where their fan base is catered to and i think that's where they really go the r different route and not even just k-pop bands like but like of like artists today a lot of artists today are like now getting into talking about like beyonce and jay-z 444 and Lemonade talking about their faults talking about the things that are actually going on and affecting their lives and this is a recent development and they're doing it just like just like those other two artists and they found success just like those other two artists and I think that's the really amazing and genuine thing about them and I'm really glad that I found them eventually I took a long time but I got here um I'm Yemi.com thank you for coming into the video I hope you enjoyed it um you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I have a podcast called Don't Worry, Stay Tuned that you can also check out. Links will be in the description. Um, don't worry, I'll be back. So stay tuned. Or oh,